there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome today. We are at Dynamic Fleet and Repair where we're gonna get an oil change and a DOT inspection on the new big truck, which still doesn't have a name, but I'm thinking it's just Atlas truck. or Butch. Yeah. So we've got Dan with us now, you're the boss. Sure. Okay, cool. It's good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you as well. Um, he's been the gentleman who's been gracious enough to donate the, all the work they're doing today. They're gonna get the new truck all squared away so that we can use it for daily use. And this is Ron. Hi. Hello. Please. And meet you. you're you're our official like the mechanic. You're of the, the mechanic guy. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All Sweet. right. So, what's going on? Well, since your truck's never been here before, I'd like to take it for a test drive and see if there's any concerns or mechanical issues that okay. you may not be aware of. There's probably several. Could be. Your gentleman here said he had a light on, uh, brake light. The parking go. brake light came on, even though the parking light, yeah. the parking brake was disengaged. We'll go verify so that. Out. Take a little ride around the block, then we'll drive her up on the hoist. Alrighty. All right. All right. Cool. Ready to go? You guys have fun. Sweet. Checking for play into steering. With power, turbo's working. Gauges read well. Now I'm going to get it up to 55 and check for some vibrations in the drive line. Make sure it's all smooth. Shock absorbers might be worn. Not a lot of shops have hoists big enough to handle a truck like this, but fortunately <laughs> we do. Most of these big oil changes happen on the floor. Yeah. Now what's the grate for? Pardon? What's the grate for? This? Yeah. So when I drop the plug, I don't have to fish for it. There you go. <laughs> okay, this is going to be warm and it might splash. It didn't. That's good. There's a bar that runs across the top and sometimes I get lucky and it hits right on the bar. Okay, get a filter wrench. As long as I'm not near a school, I'm good. So just to show you difference on filters, this would be a car filter for, say, a front-wheel drive car you'd see on the road. This is the filter for this truck. This truck is actually uh, considered to be a medium-duty truck. Um, so this is the filter for this. This would be a filter for, say, your over-the-road semi-trucks rolling down the road with oh, a 14, 15-liter engine. This would be for your car that's, say, got a 2 or 3-liter engine. So 14, 15 liters, 2, 3 liters. Gives you an idea. Checking for broken springs, worn suspension components. A lot of time if a spring is broken, you'll see a, a, a rust streak or a different color on it. That will fail a DOT. Rotor thickness, see if the pads are there. It takes a little bit of time to 
look for broken frame cracks or oil leaking out of the shocks. It, um, I don't know if I can adjust this much. You know, same or not. It does this freaking like an inch from the top. Truck drives nice. Parking brake shoes are good. Uh, down pipe, solid. Yeah, runs good. Got plenty of power. Shifts nice. Uh, this is not adjustable. There's no little turny thing. Okay. So I'd recommend a clutch at some point in its life. It doesn't slip. It's just right out the top. Yeah, it's there. We're looking for 100 pounds. The car tire is usually 35 to 40. We're right up to 100. Inside tire. 90. That's not bad. If it was 30, I'd be looking for a leak in the tire. This is a clear little plastic thing. I don't know if you can get zoomed in on there or not, but you'll see a full mark and an ad mark. And then, unlike your car, this has oil in it instead of grease. And we have to make sure there's oil in there. So I just wiped the dust off and you can, can you see the oil level in there? There you go. I'll go do the other side when I get that air pressure on that side. Wipe this one off and see what we got in here. Now this one doesn't look all nice and clean like that side. This almost looks cloudy like there needs to be some service done here. I might have a bad seal that I didn't see. Didn't see. Let me pop that cap off. I want to make sure there's no water in there. I could obviously see that side was good. This side we're going to look in there and see. Now, that oil doesn't look all nice and clean, so I will recommend that this gets serviced. Um, new seal on the back. You can see there's a lot of oil around the outside. I wouldn't call it a huge danger right at the moment, but you can see that it's discolored. And I'll write that on my little list for recommended services. It's full however. I'll do my air pressure in this tire. Now what is the point of the uh, oil? The oil lubricates the bearings. Uh, most cars have a sealed bearing with a light amount of grease in them. This has oil in there which not a heavy duty application does a better job than just the grease does. I've got maintenance free batteries. This is not a big deal. This is the power for your lift gate. They're tight. I don't see any corrosion anywhere. Truck started good. I'm going to call that good. I just did an inspection of it. Sometimes you take that off and you see cases that are split and the corrosion and acid and it'll, it'll rust the box and there'll be big green blobs and I need to service that at that point. That yeah, looks okay. And the filter. Most passenger cars these days, four to four to six quarts of oil in a passenger car. Big trucks can run up to 60 quarts. So it's hard to do a $29 oil change. Nothing on the stick yet. We got 14 quarts down, so let's go five more. I don't want to overfill it. Brake fluid is full and clean. You can see right to the bottom, it's nice and clean. 
check the coolant. And that as well as looks like it's been very well maintained. This is the power steering reservoir. And I see minimum and maximum there, and it's right in the middle, if you can see. Here's your fluid level, minimum and maximum, and there's a little filter in there that's serviceable as well. So that looks good. Oh. What else? Looking for leaks or any big oil leaks or anything dripping off, coolant leaks or... Just kind of giving it a little visual inspection for stuff. I'm going to have to get an assistant now. You want to climb in here and turn the wheel for me, Nick? Yes, sir. So I can check for worn tie rod ends and slop in the gearbox. A little less. Okay, that looks good. I'm looking for slop in the steering components. On my test drive, it felt pretty good, so I don't think you're going to find any. That's good, Nick. Thanks. No Let's see, service brakes, needs repair. Uh, list any other condition for front vehicle operation of this vehicle. Front, let see, front brakes need serviced. I gotta find some diesel fuel to put in here though. Because I like to fill these with diesel fuel just like we did with the oil. Because the diesel engine, if it sucks a bunch of air, it won't run and then it's a whole big thing to get it going again. So we put diesel fuel in here to eliminate that. This can right here. I didn't do it. don't work or do work. Hazards are on, that headlight's got a hole in it but it'll pass. I'll suggest that gets replaced. Got a blinker and a tail light there. I'm missing a light that's there. That one there isn't working. Got a blinker and a light. Maybe you can tell me if the backup lights come on. Okay. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How about that fixes it, huh? There. That's how it's supposed to be.
Yeah, this side seems to be all right. Next coming. Next coming. I want to check my uh, kingpin on this side. This that's, side seems to be good. That's a brake drum. Oh, this brake drum's actually. No, this side's moving a little, a little bit. A little bit, not as bad as no. we had next door. Yeah, we need to. This side, I did tell your gentleman there. If you look inside here, the grease in the wheel. Yeah. Is discolored. Isn't all grease that color? No. Oh. Go look at the other side. Take your light and go look at the other one. That's nice. Okay. And then this one's cloudy. It's got okay. water in it. It's got water in it. Okay. So I'm going to say this gasket's leaking. It's got oil all over that. Or the gasket in the backside is allowing water to get in. So we need to we need to do a service on this bearing. Okay. You know, drain and fill, mm -hmm. clean, inspect it. Once again, when it's back in for that, we'll pull, you know, we won't do brakes on one side, we'll do the ball so that'll get handled at that okay. time. You know, this is kind of a, the pre visit to the doctor. You'll bring it back in when you leave. <laughs> good. But uh, other than that, I, I think it's a good truck. I'm glad to hear it. And the oil change, everything went well? Yep. No problems there? Okay. No problems How there. many quarts of oil did this take? 24 and a half. Oh, man. And then when I do an oil change, and most mechanics do, they'll write it under the hood. Okay. And we did that. 24 and a half quarts mm -hmm. of oil. Well, since you guys did such an awesome job, we'll probably be bringing it back again. Right. Yeah, we'll this this is the place. These, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll absolutely. Take care of it. And knowing 24 quarts, it's not really yeah. something I want to do on a no. you know, off That's day. an expensive, yeah. And yeah. When you take your, is anybody here DOT? No. You have a, a uh, B, we've a got B? some people at our, yeah, we've got okay. some people at our. They place. will learn when they're taking their B test. They do a pre-trip, you know, make sure the tires have air in them. Yeah, you know, yeah, because Superman's a truck brake. driver. He's DOT licensed. So he'll check the oil every time he takes off in the morning. He'll pull the dipstick out. Okay. Right, because that's part of the DOT. I don't thing. know. Yeah. I don't know if he's ever driven. Well, but he's a, but that's, a qualified that's driver will okay. do that. Open the hood, check your fluids every time before you take off on a trip. Okay. Make sure all the lights are working. Um, if they're not working, then he writes up on a little slip that says, and then you get that fixed as soon as possible. Okay. Because if you want to get pulled over... Have a light out, because now that's an excuse for the officer to say, the "Guy's got a light out." We got a light out. What I mean? Well, we got yeah. 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 Well, we, we got a light out. And officers are just doing their jobs. Yeah, they're not. But they're, that light out can turn into a nice big ticket for sure. Something. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, your sharp pay is on the front seat, and it shouldn't be. You know, he's looking for stuff then. Yep. And if you if you just drive through and you look like the rest of the people and you're doing your job right, it's not going to mess with you. Well, we appreciate you Unless doing your job like this. Well, he's bad. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, but right now, the big thing for the truck is we're doing uh, trash trips, just hauling stuff to the dump, mm -hmm. cleaning out. We got a big house that we're working on, and it's all remodeling debris. So it's not heavy, it's just bulky, right. but we got a lot of it. So we'll fill the back full of wood. Okay. And so for right now, I'm not worried about the brake, but I want to get it fixed as yeah, soon as we'll possible. Yeah, we'll take care of that. So. so the other big truck, that was a fun trip, though. When the brake line went out, I ended up crimping it so I could bring it home. Yeah. Well, you got to do what you got to do, <laughs> and don't tailgate when you do that. Right. <laughs> and don't tell anybody. No, we we had support vehicles with him, keeping yeah. a buffer in front and behind. Right. right. Yeah. Every we, time I'm stopping, I'm cranking real hard to adjust. Right. It. All right. Well, I'm good. Okay, we're all set. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. Thank you for the work and all yep. that. I'm gonna go tell Dan thanks. I gotta Perfect. find him. Thank you. So cool. It's been a all right. Hey. I wasn't even time. nervous. Well, see, you're good on <laughs> camera. All right, so I want to thank you, sir, for letting us come down and help out. Thanks for coming. If you have a big truck and you need work done, they do little trucks too, but it's it's mainly you know manly vehicles like like our giant massive. We do everything truck. from cars to motorcycles to semi. -trucks. They're located just off West River Drive, Comstock Park. Come on down, ask for Dan and bug him. He needs to be harassed. He's a pretty cool guy. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, and as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.